Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. It is Stubbs121 and we are at the Elden Ring DLC Shadow of the Erdtree. I am so excited for this. I cannot wait to dive in and just have a lot of fun with this. It's I'm just I've been waiting for this like for crazy. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Before we get too far underway though, guys, thank you so much that are watching on stream. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you to those who are watching on YouTube as well, too. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day as well, too. Like I said, I am Stubbs121. Before we get too far underway, if you guys do like what you see, please don't forget to hit that sub button, that like button, and that bell button to be notified of any new videos that are coming out. We are at Mogwin's Palace. We're about to touch the touch withered arm, but there is this gentleman here that I want to speak to first. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Come now. Touch, I will not be far behind. Okay, so e exhausted the entire dialogue there, and uh, so touch withered arm. We are going to head into the realm of shadow. I am super excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to probably die a million and a half times. I'm told it's about 20 to 25 hours of content as well, too. Um, so I'm really looking forward to just getting as much content out of this as possible. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. It's This is something that people have been waiting for for such a long time. So I have no doubt that this is gonna be a blast. I'm gonna search literally high and low for everything. Oh. Let's take a minute and just enjoy everything about this. I mean, look at the, look at it. It looks gorgeous. I mean, this is amazing. Let's check out our map. Okay, so this is nothing so far. We've we've got we have a map site here, which is straight up that way. But let's touch our site of grace here first. Oh, we have one of them. We have one of the wicker men. Oh, they're so cool. There's one of them there. All right, I want to grab our rata fruit. Okay, I haven't been one that's really, like, done much in regards to crafting and stuff like that. Um, but I am super excited to kind of see what this... Oh! Oh my god! So I have not touched Elden Ring in a very long time. So this is going to be really bad. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This is nuts. That dude was nuts! Oh my freaking god! That was insane! Oh, wow! That dude was crazy tough! Oh, there's another Wicker Man. Oh, wow. Realm of Shadow. Okay, so this is a very small map, it looks like. I mean, assuming that it opens up massively. We got one of these guys to talk to. Okay. So, I mean, everyone is literally Ash. 
Oh, we can actually... Interesting. Not resin. Very cool. Okay. I kind of want to pick up on a couple areas. I cut like... This looks like a whole town area that we could venture into. This looks like where the Wicker Man area was. A whole town up there that I don't want to venture into too far. Actually, and what? We came from here is what it looks like. This is where we came from. So I actually kind of... Let's head up to here and let's see what this is real quick. Okay, I just want to head to there real quick and then just see, kind of branch out a little bit and see what we're missing in all of this area. Oh, it looks like we got a guy to fight there. It's a dog. Can I hear one behind me? Oh. Thin beast bones, okay. Mesmer soldier graves. Oh. God, I missed doing that. Okay, we got a baddie in there. And that looks like a beefy boy. Oh, I forgot. Let's let's boost up our uh, our dexterity. I totally forgot about all that. I'm just now getting back into Elden Ring, and holy cow, the stuff I missed, like the stuff I just like totally forgot about, is nuts. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is nuts, guys. Holy freaking cow. Okay, so we got looks like a small little village or a small little tent here with some people. Looks like it's more of Mesmer's soldiers. Ooh. Oh! He has like an Ash of War 2! What the hell? Oh my god, that was so cool. He looked like he had an Ash of War. It was like the... the um, Store, Fro Store Frost Stomp, I think it is? I, oh, I don't know. Oh, man. We gotta head back over there. I need my runes. Yeah, pump the fist. Alright, let's go get our runes back. I mean, just the... Oh, it's so gorgeous. Like, everything about this is just beautiful right now. Okay, where's our runes? Woo! Yeah, he, like, beefed himself up.
That's really cool. It looks like they have a like a ash of war. Come here, buddy. Nice. Okay, what do we got here? Fire coil. Interesting. That's Giant's Flame Fire Pot. Hmm. Oh, inventory. That's why. Da, da, da. I'm just kind of looking around. I don't see it quite just yet. As you guys can see, I did acquire a lot of stuff. Well, I don't see it still. I wish there was like a search tab or something. But yeah, I don't see it, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look for it somewhere else, but I don't see it anywhere. In our inventory. Hmm, okay. Maybe it's a new maybe it's a new spell? Or something? I don't know. Yeah, I'm destroying your stuff. What was that? No rolling ahead, therefore try attacking. Interesting. Those sounds are awesome, though. Those are gorgeous. Like, absolutely awesome sounds. I, like, don't want to run, like go with like torrent like at all like I want to just explore like just walking around and stuff more than like anything oh look like this big boy church of consolation oh, oh boy here he comes ah! Oh god, he hits. Oh, that's cool. Black Steel Great Hammer. Nice. That's way cool. Brand new item. S wow, Scott Tree Blessing. Scott Tree fragments can be found across the realm of shadow. Consume these at sites of grace to boost all your Scott Tree Blessing. The Scott Tree Blessing bolsters recipients' abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence. Outside their own shadow. Okay. Scud tree fragment. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so there's a baddie over there. Wonder if there's anything under the the waterfall. I don't see anything. Just try to see if any messages are. Visions of cave, but behold sadness. <laughs> okay, I see this guy. I wanna check out that item though. Right here. Black Steel Great Hammer. It's a faith strength build. Strength C, Dex E, Faith D. Okay. Very cool. I 
I think I need like 270 or something to fully upgrade again. Woo! Nice try. Okay, we just got completely restores HP and heals all ailments. Cool, all right. Hidden path ahead must be to go up. Oh, <laughs> liar ahead. There can't be. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, there's no hidden path here. It's definitely a liar. <laughs> yeah, no. Nice try. Sorry, buddy. I, I mean, I did fall for it. I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> okay. So we've gone through all of this, so we're good there. I want to head back to here and venture up into here right now. So let's head back to the Gravesite Plain. And then kind of take it from there and let's see where we head off to. Oh, hold on. I forgot, we got to use our scud trees. Shadow Realm Blessing. Consume Scud Tree. Sc sc scud scud Tree. Scud Tree. Fragment Symbols for your Scud Tree Blessing. Okay. So I have a Scud Tree Blessing. I don't quite know particularly where we're supposed to use it, though. That's the thing. Because it doesn't indicate really anything of how you use it, unless it's just like an automatic thing, like you know, you've acquired it, and then it automatically kicks into gear. Oh! I hate bird enemies! Nice, okay. I hate bird enemies with an utter passion. Interesting. There's another one there. I just don't want to miss anything, but I know I'm going to miss so much. Like, the amount of stuff that's going to be missed is crazy. Boy, I wonder, like, I'm so curious on, like, the actual story of why these are all so destroyed. And I'm sure, like, the lore legend himself, Vati, is gonna, is gonna tell us. So I'm super excited to see kind of what the end... Yeah, I'm, sh I'm super excited to see a lot of his stories and stuff and what he's come up with with it. So I'm really excited to see how things play out. Oh, these, I saw these things. Oh, oh God. Oh. What the? Oh my God. I wonder if you kill all of them, something else comes out. I mean, I kind of doubt it, but, like, that would be super cool. What do I hear? Oh, I knew I heard something. Ooh. There's another one. 
Come on, ugly. I wonder how you get up there. Because it looks like there's something up there. Oh, hello. Give me a... Give me a rune. There we go. Haha, <laughs> broken rune. Okay, so there's a site America there, so that means something is going to happen here, I'm assuming. Strong foe ahead. Oh, there's already a boss. We're already getting in, into a boss here, guys. Hold on. Just want to see if there's anything up here first. White flesh mushrooms. There's just birds, which is fine. I, I I can deal with birds, but there's already a boss there, so this totally looks like a hidden path. I mean, come on. It just feels like there's a like a hidden path there. Okay, well let's um, I guess let's go and try and fight him or her or them or thing um so yeah but i mean this just <laughs> we have a ton of runes too do i i'll say yeah I, I used oh broken rune i don't i think that's new okay um and then yeah i wonder if we can Western Nameless Mausoleum. Why is it always a knight? Oh, can't do a summons. Woo! I feel like Gale's back, guys. Goodness, and we don't have any summons either. I'm, oh man, I have a hundred and like sixty runes there too. Crap. Oh my god. Oh, this makes me laugh. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Woo. Forty-four thousand runes. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, I am gonna have to just quit out of that. I I cannot defeat that guy, and I'm gonna lose one hundred and forty-four thousand runes because of it. I'm gonna I will waste an entire episode just fighting this guy, and that's not at all what I want to do. I want to explore more of this area, but it's I'm just getting my butt handed to me. I I can't even get him past a quarter of a health, pretty much. It is really tough. This is probably right up there with one of the toughest bosses that I think I've ever fought right now. And it probably accumulates to me not playing in quite a while. But, like, this is... Oh, my God, this is brutal. And I'm giving it my best go, too. But, I mean, I'm, I'm going to die <laughs> a million more times if I keep trying. And that's the entire episode. So... Yep. 
There it goes. Wow. It's it's been such a long time since I've played and I was super excited, but man, this is destroying me. Oh wow. Okay, so I am not gonna go up that way. I know what's up there. Um we're just gonna go straight into this little town and see what's up, because holy freaking hell. Oh wow that was not that was not enjoyable. <laughs> recouping all of those is going to be really tough. I mean, if this is how the start of this DLC is going to go, I don't know how the rest of it's going to go. Yeah, I'm also a very, you know, attack heavy player, but this is nuts. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. We are going to go through this whole area, though and see what's up here. It's kind of all we can do, honestly, right now. Try to make the best of a bad situation, you know. Ooh, got a cookbook. Ooh, what's that over there? But man, this DLC does not mess around. I mean, it definitely meets the same standard as like the Tree Sentinel, but the Tree Sentinel you could have like gotten away from. If you don't, like if you don't, you're just like screwed. If you, if, if you can't actually beat him, you're just screwed. Oh, that's cool. Revered Spirit Ash. So it boosts your ashes. Which would be cool if I you know, could summon an ash there, but I can't do that. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep moving forward. Try to make the best out of a bad situation, you know? Oh, we got Wicker Man. Okay, so that's how we get up there. Or down. But I, some, I just want to see what else is up through here first. Ooh. So these guys are coming up to actually get us, too. Which is cool. Looks like I don't have the right. <laughs> oh, man. The amount of editing I'm going to have to do for that part is nuts. Just, I think I died to him maybe like 15, 20 times. So, probably show like my first two deaths. And then show my final. I'd just be like, I'm done. Alright. Do do do. Ow! Holy hell, that hurts. Like, I know that we get healing back, but, like, ow. So much rolling. But, man, I was totally like, oh, I'm so excited for DLC. It's going to be amazing. And then I'm just getting my absolute ass handed to me constantly. <laughs> Oh, nice. Fur calling. Maybe for that I might have to call upon someone to give us a hand to defeat that guy. Anything's possible. Oh. There's so much stuff around. I mean, it looks gorgeous. I just wish I didn't... <laughs> I just wish I didn't die so quickly. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what are you going to do? It's 
It's all part of the game, right? Ooh, nice. Oh no, I wish I didn't. My other playthrough, I have my uh, lantern on that. The Blade of Mercy. Ooh, ooh. Do we have a new weapon that we're going to be able to try here? Maybe not. Didn't know if it was a talisman, which it's not. Oh, no, it is. Raises attack power after each critical hit. Okay. Restores HP. Excessive HP. Okay, hold on. Equipment. What did we have? Raises dex. Faster raises maximum stamina, which I liked. I'm not as... I want to do that one, I think. It's going to increase the quip load, so it's not that bad. But raises attack power after each critical hit is pretty nice. And I think we have one that's actually similar to it. Or there was at one point. Ah, uh, mushroom. Most definitely. Ah, oh, there was something there, but I'm not too worried. Seems like there's some something over here. I mean, there is these guys. Jar man. Oh, what are these? I was like, what do we got going on over here? Ooh, Spirit Stone. Spirit Grave Stone. Ooh, tell me more. Material used for crafting items. Okay, interesting. There's a new firefly. Flies in burnt and war torn lands. Okay, cool. Just see if there's anything, you know, behind those. Oh, we got something. Whoa. A painting. Oh, nice. It's similar to the old one where you hidden path ahead. Where? Where is there a hidden path? You liar. I can't take this. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited to fight the Wicker Man. Even if I die, I'm just excited. Come here, Wicker Boy. Yeah, I see you. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, God. We are doing no damage. Oh. Oh my goodness. Nope, nope, nope. Running. Running very fast. Jeez. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, Torrent, go. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for fighting you guys. <laughs> he looks sad. He just, like, kicked, like, a bunch of rocks. It seems like he's, like, sad that he's not going to fight me anymore. He's just like, oh, bummer. Oh, Grace, 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 Grace. Ooh, someone there. Oh, I'm definitely resting. This game does not mess around early on, guys. Okay, so Shadow Realm Blessing. We have one. Heck yeah. Carved words coalesce. I abandoned here the first of the flesh of my body. Okay. Interesting. So we actually need two more of the sug tree. So. Ah. Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Weren't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Okay. Another thing. Did you speak to our dour little friend? If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the Cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. They are Mikola the Kind's footprints. Okay, but where is he? To do so, assuming you... That's the thing, I don't know where he is, though. Hmm. I guess maybe just touch here. Nope. Yeah, I don't know who she's talking about. Because I haven't met anyone yet. If you've yet to do so, be sure to have our dour little friend assuming you intend to trace kind Mikola's path. Yeah, I mean, why not? Oh boy, okay. This has been rough. What I'm going to do, I'm going to head up this way, I believe. So we're going to head over this way. And then maybe that will bring us up to this whole area, I'm thinking. So let's go do that. Man, this first episode has been a rough one. <laughs> so I want to get up there. More than anything. Ooh, okay, hold on. Maybe I can. Smithing stone. Always, always can do, do with some smithing stones. What is up here? Oh, wow. We got some bats. I do not like bats. Why did it have to be bats? As the great Indiana Jones once said, why did it have to be snakes? But I thought we were done fighting snakes with Rikert. Okay, we'll get to that in a little bit. We're gonna go this way. See what's up here. More bats! We got a baddie over there I just saw. He's right kind of right at the top of our head. Right there. Come here. 
Why am I having such trouble? <laughs> As you can tell, it's been a couple days since I've played. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Oh, I want to know who that guy is, but I do see a Grace over there, so we're going to head over to there first, I think. Where are you? Here we are. There's a couple of them, too. Oh, there's so many new baddies. What? Oh. Okay. Not terrible. We can deal with those. Just the look of those guys. I mean, it totally reminds me of, like, orcs from, like, Lord of the Rings. They're super cool. Nice. Give a decent amount as well, too. So, I mean, I'll hit that 144 that I lost at a pretty decent rate. Not perfect, but I'll get there. We'll get there. Just keep our decks high. No, you do not. Get out of here with your skulls. Ghost Glove, we're at four. We got plenty of those because our, our summons is maxed out for... I want to say I hear one. Surprised he doesn't see us. Oh, but he'll see us here soon, guys. Oh my god. How did we miss that? Woo! Baby. Oh boy. As well, too, we're not uh, we're not healing off of our kills anymore because we changed that. So, we just got to be careful. Another wicker man. If only I had fortitude. <laughs> Oh, whoa, what's that down there? So it's down there. I wonder... I wonder how you get down there. Huh, interesting, okay. I think we've kind of exhausted everything we can over to this area, guys. Come here, ugly.
precious item ahead. So it must be this way then. If they're saying that it's ahead. But I don't see currently any item. Unless they're lying to me again. Which, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> there we are. Broken rune. Another broken rune. Okay, so we are in Prospect Town. We actually wanted to be here. So that's a good thing. We had actually just traveled up that whole backside, and now we're coming back down the other side as well, too. Because we had actually come through that area there. Okay, so we got a summons here. We got some baddies over there as well, too. We got a big boy. We got another big boy. Oh! Ow! Hey, buddy. So Elden Ring has always taught me to just, if you see a, a a random thing like this, to just jump up it. I know, okay, so we actually could get up that way, but it's always kind of tell you, hey, look everywhere pretty much, because anything is possible. So. Beast Blood. Oh, Beast Blood. Is that very similar to Bloodborne? I'm assuming it's probably a crafting. It's for beast blood. Is it it seems new to me to get beast blood, but I don't know why. Oh no, that's definitely not new. <laughs> Sorry guys. Yeah, Elden Ring has always taught me to go and look, like, everywhere. Because you really have no idea what you're going to find. What is this? Hmm. Just looks like a random, just a random gravesite or so. Okay, we still have our summons available. Oh, that's probably why. Look at all those guys. Oh my god, there's so many. Ah! Oh jeez. That totally explains why there's so many summons there. <laughs> Alright, I think we'll defeat those guys, and then I think we might call it for our first episode. Not a great episode to start. Pretty bad. But that's okay.
Oh, I don't have any carry keys. Looks like they have mobs. Blood Fiend Fork. Oh, nice. I got that weapon. Blood Fiend Arm. Nice. I got that weapon, too. I mean, it makes sense that a lot of this stuff is, like, blood-related, because we went through Mikola's area. Um, so, I mean, it makes sense that our opening kind of bit is blood-related. Um, but I was kind of hoping that they would have a little more blood-style weapons. Um, let's check that out real quick. Blood Fiend Fork. Here it is. Okay. So, it's... More of a strength arcane, of course. Causes blood loss. Really cool. And this is the other one. Blood Fiend's arm. Interesting. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so we got some more areas we want to figure out in this general area before we call it for the episode. Gonna keep my, uh, keep my mimic with me close. Because who knows what we're gonna find up here. Because this does look like, like, you know, I mean, we just defeated those guys, but it definitely looks like blood or boss territory that we're walking into. Come on, buddy. You look gorgeous, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go up here. Okay, nothing up here. I wasn't sure, but always good to look. I mean, like I said, Elden Ring has taught me to look literally everywhere when it comes to <laughs> I tried. Okay, so we got this. I guess not. No trap ahead. Outer God Heirloom. No, there is not, people. <laughs> okay, so we have gone through this entire area from what I can tell. I don't see any other bits of information here or areas that we can cover throughout here um seems like a pretty good point for us to call it for the episode like i said it's been a rough episode not a great one overall but oh there's some more baddies over there i think what we might do then is we might go over i thought we just oh no we went upper area and we also didn't go over to there either so we might end up doing is just like going you know we gotta go through this whole area as well too but we missed a couple baddies over here that we might take down real quick um let's check out that new item as well there it is outer god raises arcane yeah so they went hard with the blood they went hard with the blood in this game so perfect Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Suz121 with Gamers Initiative. And, of course, if you guys do like what you see, please don't forget to hit that sub button, that like button, and that bell button to be notified of any videos that are coming out. I really appreciate you guys' patience with the overall roughness that the f that this first episode went through. Um, overall, I am very happy, though, that we were able to kind of make it to at a, you know, to at a good point right now. Um, nobody. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose them, it seems like. That's okay, no worries. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Like I said, 
You guys have an absolutely amazing and fantastic day, and I will catch you great people all in the next episode. Thank you for watching us tw on Twitch as well, too. Thank you for everything. Have a great day. Bye, guys.